Okay. Welcome, everyone. I'd like to call to order the City of Lawrenceburg Board of Works meeting for April 1st, 2019. With a roll call, please. Board Member Paul Seymour Jr. Here. Board Member Alan Calloway. Here. Police Chief Don Combs. Here. Fire Chief Johnny Tremaine. Here. EMS Director Bobby Mills, Here. City Attorney Del Weldon, Here. City Coordinator Brian Messmore, Here. President Kelly Milan, Here. and myself. All right. Any announcements? I don't have any for this meeting. You guys got anything? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the previous meeting. Motion. Second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion will carry. Committee reports, uh, Fire Chief uh, Johnny Tremaine. Um, yeah, I did pass out uh, March's run totals for everybody. Uh, we had 71 total calls. And also with that document, I passed out that I, I told you earlier in the year we were going to do a, a dinner celebration for John Stamer. You have that flyer in front of you. He, uh, he uh, retired with 50 years, so we're going to do a small dinner for him and stuff at the fire station on April the 18th. So Good nice. Um, and then I just wanted to update you that two weeks ago we went up and did the pre-construction meeting on the, the new fire apparatus and everything seems to be going well. So, all I have. How many months? Please. How many months to completion? Uh, I've got a calendar down. We're, we're below right around 260 some days i'm counting every day so I'm <laughs> do it. you're counting days all right uh police chief donnie combs i'll have a report tonight from ward mayor okay ems director bobby mills all right new business mr clark 2019 asphalt patching and repair authorization uh thank you your honor it's time to um advertise for the annual pothole patch and repair quote for the season and I'd like to get authorization from the board to go ahead and advertise, advertise to take quotes for that. Any questions? Okay. Entertain a motion then to uh, give Mr. Clark the authority to go out for for quotes. So moved. Second. <clears throat> all, those in, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion will carry. I don't have any new business additional to that. Old business, I believe, Mario, you got uh, a couple, some bids on the racetrack and motorcycle track PA yes, systems? Yes, Your Honor. On the PA system, um, like I said, it's old business. We brought it, I think, up in October. We finally got pricing on the uh, car track, as you see in the booklet it's eighty six thousand five hundred dollars to upgrade the existing PA uh, the motorcycle track is a secondary quote on there at thirteen thousand five hundred okay um, <coughs> would be okay with with you guys I'd like to take these one at a time um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that I already know I do know that the uh, motorcycle track PA system was in the budget this year but I, I'm not for certain on the, uh, the car track. So if if you, do you have any questions about that? If uh, if not, I, I if you want to approve the the car track, I would do it contingent upon it being if it was budgeted. Uh, if if I could ask you to do that. Um, or we can you know. We can do it. We just have to make an additional. Uh, we can do that at a later date too, though. Well, we, I mean, we've done an awful lot of work over there, so I I say I would like to okay it contingent upon it. It was in this budget. Okay. And if it wasn't in this budget, we spent a lot of money over there. So yeah. So I'm I'm not. You know. Okay. We, we can table it to a different time if we need to. Okay. Put that in your hands. All right. My motion. Well, um, I would entertain a motion then to uh, approve it, uh, contingent upon it being uh, in the 2019 budget. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? <coughs> Aye. Opposed? 
that motion will carry. Now the motorcycle track, uh, any questions on that? I do know that was in the budget. If no questions, I entertain a motion to approve the new PA system for the motorcycle track. Motion. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? That motion will carry. All right. Thank you. I don't have any additional old business for Board of Works. Uh, if you all don't, I'll entertain a motion to approve the claims. Motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion will carry. Parks and playgrounds as soon as we're seated. Okay, I'd like to talk, call to order the Lawrenceburg Parks and Playgrounds meeting for April 1st, 2019 with a roll call. Board Member Tony Abbott. Here. Board Member Aaron Cook. Here. Board Member Mel Davis. Here. Board Member Randy Abner. Here. Board Member Paul Seymour, Jr. Here. City Attorney Del Weldon. Here. City Coordinator Brian Messmore. Here. President Kelly Milan. Here. And myself. Okay, any announcements? All right, if not, I entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the previous meeting. Opposed. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion will carry. New business. Miss Jenny Felix and Kelly Brookbank. Budlow Hill Playground proposal. Um, included in your packets is the Ludlow Hill Park Playground proposal. Um, I'm going to actually pass out some updated 3D renderings and also photos of the current condition of the park. While Kelly's passing that out, I just want to tell you a little bit about what you're going to be getting there. So the playground project up on Ludlow Hill, we actually divided this up into two phases. As I'm sure you guys are all familiar with, there's two different playgrounds up there there so there's the one on the front which is near the um, peewee football field and then the larger one in the back Thank you. Um, phase one is that one in the front by the the peewee football field um, and we wanted to start with that one because it's actually um, been deemed unsafe which is you'll see when you see the pictures that Kelly's passing out here um, once this one is completed we're going to be able to move on to the the second phase which is going to be the one the larger one in the back um, the new proposal does um, comply with the, the ADA requirements um, regarding like the turf. So there's going to be turf up there, um, which is a smooth surface instead of the mulch. Um, and then also the area for, the, for where that turf is is a lot wider. Um, and then also the portion, and you can kind of see that in the proposal that you have there for where the stairs are to get up to the slides and all the other activities it's on the level of where a child's um, wheelchair level would be so they would be able to transfer themselves from their chair to the step and then there's also railings for them to be able to lift themselves up you guys have any questions so this will be ADA compliant yes that's important because really the city is supposed to have a tra an ADA transition plan in place. Kelly and I were talking about that, so I think just getting this ADA compliant would be a positive step for the city itself. Well, the plan is to to we're starting up there on the hill with this equipment this year, and then each each year we're going to upgrade each park, um, and it will all be upgraded to that that level. I think we got a question. <coughs> got a question. I do. Oh, you do? Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Right uh, wouldn't it have uh, been nice if we could have had some of the citizens that live in that area to sit on this committee that could come up with stuff to put on here instead of our city? I just, I'm just throwing that out there. Or could we put some people on here to help out? Because uh, I think that uh, the people living around that area know best of what they want in that park or what they need in that park. And I just uh, think that we could 
to that. Okay. I hate to shoot you down. You're doing a good job. It's great, but I just think that we could add some people in that area up there. Oh, yeah. Uh, could yeah, set yeah. on that committee and probably probably do us a real good job. Oh, absolutely. But let, let me ask you this. How soon is phase two coming? Because I know I, I, at George Street we had a committee, neighborhood committee. Art Street we had a neighborhood committee. So I really uh, I want to do that. But I also know that when I first took office, I had all that bad stuff on my notebook that needed replaced. So I'm all for doing this, quick as we can do it. But somehow or another, we, we got to have a policy to keep the, the this Ludlow Hill, let's face it guys, all our concentration is always downtown. I, I would have liked to have seen somebody with it too, but to get this for the season, I would be willing to to okay this as long as we're not waiting two or three years for phase two. Well, um, what, what we got planned there? This is this is just the 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 smaller area up there next to the football field because it had. Um, um, some safety problems um, that needed to be taken care of quickly. Um, so that's why we started there. Okay. Um, the next phase up there is the larger playground. What, we can on? obviously, well, we, we probably need to go, it wouldn't be installed this year probably um, because it, that was not in the budget. This one was. Okay. Um, but we would put it into the 2020 budget um, simply because uh, that one's going to be uh, much more expensive. I mean, this is not cheap. So, I mean, it's not cheap to do it. But, Randy, I think your idea of adding uh, a group would be f great to do that. We've, fine. Done that. we've done that in the other parks, and I don't I, think I we wasn't need aware to move of this that, one out. So that's fine. Okay. I don't have a problem with that at all. we got two different pictures here. What, what do we I think those are just two different angles. Angles. Paul? So you can see the front side and the back side one's of the, front, of the one's structure. Back. Yeah. All right. All right. The gazebo there had me fool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This one. This isn't the picture of that park. <laughs> but um, Randy it would be okay if we include a, a group on the the, on the second on the big right. the big part or the I big. I think that would. Once, <laughs> once we get get your word and the council's word, we can do that. That would be great. How's Just so we can get feel? this one removed. I know we need to get something unsafe. up there for the summer because uh, yeah. we got a lot of let's, let's go, we got hand me down stuff from the other parks up there, and we need to do some work on that. So, Your Honor, I agree with uh, Mr. Seymour's concept that we get the this one done immediately. Um, as a grandpa, that used to go up there when my <laughs> kids were my grandkids were younger. It need need some work. Uh, you should have been on. You shouldn't have been on the swing. I was once. <laughs> <laughs> this one, uh, I think, from observing up there and and participating in some manner, I think resolves the issue of the younger people, perhaps, and maybe some. I hate to call kids middle aged, but middle aged kids. <laughs> uh, so I'm in favor of. I think it's a good idea. Any other questions, discussion, comments? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve the phase one. Moved. I'll second. I'll second this motion, Mayor. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion will carry. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. Okay, I don't have any other new business under parks and playgrounds. Any of you all have anything? I got one thing. Yes, sir. Um, okay. We we need to get a a list of races from Mr. Rudisell that he thinks that that parking lot will be full. I realize that they don't fill it up, but the antique. Show is going to be common. 
and we need to make sure the tax board realizes that they, they need to move their cars when we have probably five or six events. There ain't but a handful, but we, we need to make sure that those aren't there when we have those particular events. No, I agree. Um, and they they are they're they're fine with that. Okay. They just need to be told what, well, what those dates are. Um, we can get with uh, Kim and, and Dave and um, but yeah, the antique market's another one. But um, there's another big event that happened. Well, of course, 4-H fair, places, things like that. But we can get them a set of dates to where they can be uh, notified a little bit, and then they can figure out what they need to do. Okay, let me write that down. Okay. Noticed a lot of power washing, a lot of good work going on in the parks, taking a heck of an effort to getting them ready this spring. So, you guys are doing a good job. Bathrooms are, that bathrooms are completed over at the racetrack, too. The bleachers are being installed as we speak, so they should be done tomorrow by noon. And they got a ball game at 2 o'clock? 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Great. Thanks for making that happen. Talking about down at Todd Creech, down at uh, KFC Field, I call it. Denny Williams, Denny Lewis Field. Okay, um, any other old business? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve the claims. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> carry, and motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? A motion will carry. Call to order. City of Lawrenceburg Common Council meeting for April 1st, 2019. All stand for the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Can I get a roll call, Mr. Richardson? Yes, sir. Councilperson Tony Abbott? Here. Councilperson Aaron Cook? Here. Councilperson Mel Davis? Here. Councilperson Randy Abner? Here. Councilperson Paul Seymour, Jr.? Here. Police Chief Don Combs? Here. Fire Chief Johnny Tremaine? Here. EMS Director Bobby Mills? Here. City Attorney Del Weldon? Here. City Coordinator Brian Messmore? Here. City Court Judge Joe Johns? Here. Mayor Kelly Milan? Here. And myself? Okay, announcements, uh, board reports, streets, alleys, and curbs, Mr. Cook? Um, two things, Mayor. Um, the first one is I was wanting to see if we can get some lights around the crosswalk over there by Proximo, the crosswalk where the employees walking back and forth because um, there's no lighting around there when the employees are crossing like 6 in the morning. Uh, there's been some close calls over there. Right by the BMV there you're mm -hmm. talking about? Yep. And the second thing, Tony, Tony knows more about it than I do. There's a resident on center street he was driving his van and he pulled onto lake street and right there uh you know where the sioc school is for the kids and then right across the street is the church now he pulled on the lake and a woman walked from between two cars that were parked there and he hit her she's all right and he didn't hit her very hard but he still hit her so he was wondering if we could uh stop them from putting the car spots there next to the church paint that yellow and do some kind of walkway, something to make it safer there. Talking about right outside the church, the church door there? Yeah, right outside the side of the church. On, on Lake? On Lake. That happened last week, right? Wasn't it last week? Yeah, well, yeah. That's right. He, he did give your office a call. Yeah. So if we could have Mike and well, Mario we'll look at it and see if you can come up with something. something out there. Maybe a pedestrian walk, he said, or something. Or Mayor, I got something too. Yes, sir. They, they're going to take care of that. All right. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, up on Butler, I had a concerned citizen talk to me about uh, either the gas company or LMU. Uh, when they cut the street, we did a patch last year on some things, and it was a poor patch. It's it's irregular. It, it shakes. It's it's not not the right. It just needs fixed. It, they didn't fix it right. So 
Did you guys go up Butler. there and check those up on Butler? Yeah. We I think there's a big one to 48 and in the end of Butler where they had the big hole where I think uh, uh, they, they had the, the problem and then they had some other ones there. It's uh, some patches that on, they need. On Butler itself. On Butler itself. So, yeah. So some of the four patches. It's not the new one that they just gas company. Gas company. No, he's. There no. may be one there, but there's a couple of them. There's one at Butler and Butler Court where they crossed, which we did late in the year. I think some of that's settled. It needs It'll to be, be taken patched. care of. And then back towards the 48 end, it's where they had the big hole where they worked on the sewer before. It's not patched right. So we'll take care of that. I appreciate it. I'll get with Olin tomorrow. and Okay. Check her out for us. See what you come up with. Thanks. All right. Anything else under streets, alleys, and curbs? If not, uh, finance, Mr. Abbott. We're good. Uh, parks and playgrounds, Mr. Seymour. Welcome. And fire, uh, Randy Abner. Our department's going to have their quarterly live burn. Their subject's going to be garden apartment fires. Hmm. Okay. All right. Any other announcements? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve the minutes of the previous meeting. So moved. Second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Got a work session to approve from March 18th as well. Yes. And the second uh, group of minutes from March 18th work session, I need a motion to approve. So I move. Second. I'll second that. All those in favor? Opposed? That was set of minutes approved as well. <coughs> All right. Committee reports. Fire Chief Johnny Tremaine. Uh, like I said in the Board of Works meeting, I got the run totals for March, uh, 71 total. And also, uh, John Stamer, uh, we're going to honor him for his 50 years with Lawrenceburg Fire Department on April 18th. Everybody's involved. <coughs> okay. Police Chief Don Combs. Thank you, Mayor. As I mentioned before in the past, we have a uh, <coughs> DA National Prescription Drug Take Back Croker Hostess. It's coming up April the 27th this month. Um, it's on, it's from 10 to 2 at Kroger's, and they will uh, market that. I contact the DA today, DEA today to register, uh, and we'll be involved. We'll be there. And we'll take the uh, prescriptions and we will destroy them at our station. Um, real good program. As I mentioned before, that uh, they take you know, pounds and pounds of uh, full prescriptions from houses. So it's a really, really good program. So that's coming up real soon. Um, just want to make sure that the public and everybody knew about the construction on Wilson Creek coming up. Um, that's going to be closed for 60 days, local traffic only. And the last thing I have, Mayor, is <coughs> last week uh, all of LPD's three canines participated um, at the uh, spring competition in Scottsville, Kentucky. Um, all three of our guys went up. Um, there is a narcotics event, uh, consists of an open area search, residential vehicles and warehouses. And there were patrol events, consisted of residential barn searches, open areas, tracking and suspect apprehension. And I'm happy to report that the narcotic scramble event, uh, Troy Cochran got first place with his uh, canine. The overall narcotic <coughs> event, uh, Nick Myers placed second place. Wow. And uh, patrol overall, Jacob Jump, he placed third place. There was like seven states that participated with several canines up there. So uh, they all did a, a remarkable job. Very proud of them all. Uh, this is one of the plaques. This is actually Nick Myers' plaque. And all of them obtain this kind of plaque here. Nice. Very, very proud of the canines. They work very, very hard at this, and it shows out on the streets as well that they do this. So I appreciate uh, you allow us to do this. Good thing. Thanks. Congratulations. That's all I have. Okay. Good stuff there. Okay. EMS Director Bobby Mills. A report to me. City Court Judge uh, Joe Johns. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, in the month of March, uh, there were 311 cases 
filed in the Lawrenceburg City Court, which uh, brings us to the year-to-date total of uh, 713 cases. We'll have a uh, report in on the financials in the next meeting. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Under new business, I've got one item, uh, calendar committee recommendation. Um, every year the um, calendar goes out for bid. Um, this year we had the two bids, came back the last meeting, I believe, and it was taken under advisement by the um, the committee. Uh, it was a person from the LCD, a person from LMU, and a person from the city. That's who shares in the cost. And this year they are recommending uh, registered publications uh, to do this year's calendar. So I need a motion to approve that. So I move. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> that motion carries. Next one I think is Mr. Richardson, LCC Public Facilities Grant Contract and Ordinance. Judy McAdams here. Yeah. Judy. <coughs> this is for the grant that we got for the community center to fix the HVAC system there. Uh, we've uploaded the documents we need to upload. We just need to have the contract approved by council this evening, correct? Yes, that's correct. Uh, so we need to have that approved and then signed tonight. And as I'm reading it, we'll have mayor and then the council people will sign it, correct? Well, that's what we need to have this evening. Uh, we've already got the contribution from the community center itself, so that has been uh, accounted for. Did, Did you, you want to add anything? Yeah, Coma? well, okay, so you have our contract for services, but do you also have land contract or land consultants? Land contract? consultant, I do. You, okay. Yep. So, and, okay. But both, those, both of those. Yeah, that'll be a se the, the separate, okay. yeah. And yeah, we'll do the LCC uh, Public Facilities Grant Contract and Ordinance first, and then we can do the uh, land consultant contract. Does anybody have any questions about this? So we need to get approval on the grant contract first? Correct. All right. Any questions regarding that? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve the uh, public facilities grant contract. That, that's the one that says contract for services at the top. That, yes. That's not uh, not for land con consultants. No. The, yeah. Okay. That you get that separately, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. That You're one. right, Aaron. That's that one. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> It's also it's the thicker one too. Yeah. If you're looking at it like that. Okay. Any questions? Can I get a motion? So move. Second. 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 All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And ordinance number the ordinance number three dash twenty nineteen. Okay. I would ask to approve the ordinance uh, the same night as presented as long as there's a unanimous vote. So I'd, can I get a motion to approve ordinance 3-2019? So move. Second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? The motion is approved. Ordinance is approved. And then the next one would be uh, land consultant contract questions. No questions. I entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second. 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 All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? That motion will carry. We're good. Kelly, Thank you. Yes, sir. Would you mind telling the audience what what this grant? Yeah, this was a grant, public facilities grant that uh, these two ladies went after and were successful. Uh, actually, we were. I think a little shocked because we had gotten one the previous got one the previous year for the adult center, which was substantial for three hundred and sixty thousand. This one was for two hundred eighty seven, I believe. Um, two seventy nine. Two seventy nine. Yeah. Well, yeah, close. Two eighty seven. Two seventy nine. Two hundred seventy nine thousand. It's it's mainly it's going to be used to replace the whole HVAC system at the uh, uh, community center, which has been needed for quite some time. So we were. Fortunate to get this one, um, but let me gotta, add to that. Got to keep applying. 
<coughs> Let me add to that, too. That, that's a good point because we had applied for this originally, mm -hmm. and we didn't make it. So we had a meeting to discuss why we didn't make it, what we needed to do to improve what we had presented to them for the grant. Mm -hmm. uh, you helped us to adhere to the policies that they wanted us to put in place. We got the mapping that they needed, the uh, community support that was needed, and that's what got us there. And conducted a lot of surveys. Yes. Yeah, the surveys. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Next item, uh, Mr. Weldon, debt and liquidity policy. Yes, sir, Your Honor. If it pleases the uh, City Council, this would be proposed as um, 4 2019. 4 2019. Thank you, Mr. Richardson. It's an ordinance of the City of Lawrenceburg approving the debt management policy of the City and reserves and liquidity policy of the City. Uh, Matt Frischi from Reed Financial Group is here. This was an ordinance that was prepared in conjunction with him. Uh, and one of the key drivers for this is to establish a bond rating, which was, of course, our primary goal with the project. But Matt's here to answer your questions and to go over what this ordinance does. Yep. So uh, basically this ordinance in relation to the bond that we're issuing for the park, uh, I know we're getting it rated, so we obviously want the best rating possible. Um, based on previous bonds that we've issued, what SNP I know is going to ask is, do you, does the city of Lawrenceburg have certain policies in place to protect their, and let our citizens know exactly what's going on with the finances, one of which is the debt, the debt management policy, which basically states that we report quarterly any debts outstanding, um, as well as what amount of the city's statutory debt limit we are utilizing. Currently, that is zero. Um, so with the bond that we are issuing, we are going to be using some of that step, that debt limit, um, which will just be continually updating of this report quarterly and letting us know exactly how much of the debt we're still using. Um, and then the other policy within this ordinance is li the liquidity, liquidity and reserve policy, basically saying how much days of cash on hand we have. We want to make sure that we have sufficient cash on hand to cover any expenses that come in. Um, so outlined in the policy, you'll see that from here on out, we're going to be required to maintain 45 days of cash on hand, but we're going to strive to maintain 90 days of cash on hand. That basically just shows the S&P, the rating agencies, that we are striving to maintain balances to make sure that we are covering any expenses that do come in. Um, so if you have any questions, shoot them my way. Otherwise, pretty straightforward. This is what we've seen. Uh, we actually modeled these policies uh, with a lot of help from Pillar, um, but we, we took these policies from ones that Fishers has used and Whitestown that have resulted in very high ratings as well. So this will just help us maintain the highest rating possible when we do go through that rating process. Any questions up here? <laughs> Which my ringer was that loud? Put that in the paper. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only quote he's going to put in there for me. <laughs> <laughs> Got you, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. That's what we're trying to sell you. All right. So, um, all right. Any questions on that? Okay. This is um, ordinance number 4 2019. I would ask to approve the ordinance the same night as presented as long as we have unanimous approval or unanimous vote. Um, I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? No. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries and is approved. Thank you. Thank you. All right. The next one is the Economic Development Ordinance, which was um, pushed on to a favorable by the Economic Development Commission earlier uh, to council. Yes, sir, Your Honor. Thank you. If it pleases the uh, Common Council of the City of Lawrenceburg, this would be Ordinance Number 5-2019. Uh, Bruce Allenson from Barnes & Norberg is here to answer questions uh, about this ordinance. And as you recall, before the uh, Common Council convened, we had a, a special session and a public, public hearing of the Economic Development Commission uh, at that meeting. They did an organizational meeting, selected a president, vice president, and secretary, and they also held a public hearing on the resolution that is the basis for now this ordinance, and it was passed forward to council 
with a favorable recommendation. This is the financing ag agreement for the Flaherty and Collins apartment complex project and contains the parameters that uh, city council has already approved. The title is an ordinance authorizing an economic development loan to FNC Development Incorporated in an aggregate principal amount not to exceed $15 million, approving the form of a financing and loan agreement and the funding of the economic development loan. I can tell you that uh, Darren Kintner from Flaherty and Collins uh, is also here. He had a little hard <coughs> trouble, but we sent him up the road to Bob Summerall, so supporting local business. He got his tire fixed. So uh, Darren Kintner from Flaherty and Collins is here. Bruce Donaldson from uh, Barnes and Thornburg is here, and they can answer any questions that the council has. One side note, uh, Darren said they didn't charge him for anything up there. I said that only happens in Lawrenceburg. You yeah, that's right. You can't get that in Fishers and Carmel. That's, that's right. Sure. They do it for free here. All right. Um, so we're looking at uh, any questions uh, regarding ordinance number 5-2019. Yes, if not, I would ask to approve the, this ordinance on the same night as presented as long as there's a unanimous vote in favor. I'll entertain a motion. So moved. Second. Second. Aye. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion will carry as approved. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. I don't have any additional new business. Anybody have anything that wasn't covered? Under I, old, I, I well, have one, well, one thing yeah. it's kind of... It's I don't know. Um, I'm not on redevelopment, and I get a lot of questions about some of the contracts sometimes. So I was wondering if I could get a copy of the Hickory House um, contract. I get a question three times a week, probably about that right now. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Get a copy of any of it. Okay. Uh, old business, uh, Mr. Clark. Uh, this was one that was tabled from last May, I believe, right? Correct. And, Your Honor, um, I know the utilities have gone through this. Um, Carl Fryman in the building. Uh, there was one, one suggestion from the utilities on the basement sump pump drains and floor drains for basements and garages to be discharged into the stormwater instead of the sanitary. Uh, I went ahead and changed this to go from sanitary to storm uh, I did contact Cindy Fort with American Structure Point and kind of went over this um, she said there's no IDEM regulations on that but she said it goes either way you've got two arguments one sanitary is infiltration if you put it in a storm there's always a potential of a spill or a leak where you could get contamination in our streams and she said there's no right or wrong answer on it uh, I, I know Andy Lyons requested it that it be put in the storm so as and if you look under the revisions as long as it's not a sump pump that has gray water going into it um, I've made that revision uh, the other revision there were four of the drawings that Mr. Fryman brought to our attention. We had those in the packet for the old off right away concrete program. He said, you know, now that we don't have that, he um, covers that under his building codes. So I just took those four drawings out. And with these two revisions, I would ask that we go ahead and approve and pass the ordinance to do this. Well, just the the handbook. It's not an ordinance, right? No, it is covered. It, it's um, it's covered by ordinance. Yes. We don't have an ordinance in front of us. It was, and it was. It wasn't in my packet. At last meeting, <coughs> the ordinance was in there. Uh, Mr. Blondell generated it. The handbook itself is the ordinance, correct? No, there's a, there's an ordinance we passed out last. It was in the packet last time. Yeah, there's yeah. an ordinance that covers the handbook. Okay. All right. So ordinance. Six. Right. Any questions up here, guys? All right. If there's no uh, no questions, I'd ask to approve this ordinance on the same night 
as presented, as long as we have a unanimous vote. So uh, entertain a motion. Mail motion. Oh, sorry. Second. <laughs> Second. Fails for a lack of second. Okay. All righty. Any other old business? If not, we'll entertain comments from the audience. Yes, sir. I did just want to clarify. Uh, yeah. So as far as the policies we Im implemented, the debt and liquidity policies, I wanted to go ahead and make sure that it was on record that we talked about the liquidity reserve policy a little okay. bit more. Um, I did just want to go ahead and go through the funds that we do have to report on just to make sure that we comply there. Um, basically, the policy states that all utility funds, we, like I mentioned before, maintain 45 days cash reserve. We strive for 90. And then all property tax funds that, are, that the city has that are receiving property tax maintains the same level, 45 and 90. Water, and this is as of the end of 2018, we won't have to do this report until, again, at the end of 2019. Uh, end of 2018, water had 1562 days, sewer had 691, electric had 95, and then general fund had 52, MVH had 436, and park and recreation had 203. I just wanted that on the record. That way, make sure we. Question. Yep. If. <clears throat> and this, as former utility director. Yes. With the utilities are required to keep those funds set aside also mm -hmm. do they also get a bond rating with this they, they will not get a bond rating that's just that's what was spelled out within the policy okay. that all utility funds and uh, city funds that are receiving property tax ret retain those levels of cash on hand okay all right okay. perfect thank you okay thank you any other comments from the audience yes ma'am This is really a matter of awareness. Um, some of you may know, or you may not know, that Main Street is doing a project. It's called the, in, in, in conjunction with the opening of the park, it's called the Inside Out Project. And uh, this project actually is an international project. It was started by a French artist, street art, artist by the name of J.R. And uh, he was giving, uh, given a, a TED grant from TED Talks to start this project back in 2010. And basically, it's to communicate through art. And so what you have to do is you have to apply. You have to have a theme for your project, which we did. And um, our theme was all about community. And uh, in conjunction with the opening of the park on June 1st, what we're doing is we're taking photographs of people, individuals. They're just headshots. If you live, work, or play in Lawrenceburg, you're eligible to be photographed. It's one person at a time. It's just a simple head and shoulders photograph. It's black and white. They're going to be printed in three by five foot size, and they are going to be on the walls all around the park and on the sidewalks leading up, and uh, we're hoping to uplight them too. They'll be up for about a week. Uh, it's, it, they're not photographs that are going to damage any surface. They're put on basically with wheat paste. Uh, so we would like as many of you as possible to participate. We had our first session on, um, on Sunday. It was quite cold in the park, but we still had people that showed up. Uh, the photographs are being taken uh, with uh, the efforts, and these is complementary efforts of both Waltz Photography and Kreider Photography are doing it. Um, the next day is this Wednesday, April 3rd, from 4.30 to 6.30 uh, at the Main Street office. And then we have another session, April 14th, from 2 to 4 at Ludlow Hill Park. So we hope you'll participate. Thank you. April 3rd, what time, Pat, was that this Wednesday? Okay. You Anyone going, else? You, you going down there? If you are. <laughs> I'll, I'll a, meet you there. Get, get a glamour <laughs> shot. Yeah. <laughs> get a glamour shot. Yeah. All right. If no other comments, uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve the claims. So moved. Second. Second. 
All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion will carry. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Thanks, everyone, for coming. All council people stay. I got a whole <coughs>